What is up guys, Mastic over here. And today we're gonna be working on this 2010 Mazda 3. So main complaint is vibration from the motor that's going into the cab. Uh, and it's just vibrating too much, especially on drive, idle, regardless, idle, reverse, drive, what it is, no matter what. Um, so my suspicion is this motor mount and the torque mount that's right under the car. So today's tutorial basically is how to change this motor mount and a torque mount. And if that doesn't solve the issue, I'm going to go ahead and change the mount that's right here as well. So just to give you guys an idea of what I'm talking about before I put on the ramps, I'm going to go ahead and enter. Hmm. Where is it? Oh, right there. All right. I don't know if you guys can feel that, but just, just look at the steering. It just feels like the whole car is like vibrating. It's like those vibrators that you use on your, on your back for a massage or something, but it's just vibrating too much. Anyways, go ahead and put this back here. And I'm gonna start with the repair. You don't need the ramps or you don't need to put the car on the ramps if you're only doing that one. But if you're doing the torque mount uh, under the motor, I would highly recommend putting it on ramps and then it's just supporting the motor. All you need to, to do right now, get a jack. Uh, just put some support on the motor from the bottom. You can use a block of wood, but mine already comes with like a, um, like a spongy material or like a little plastic, flexible plastic that makes contact to with the whatever I lift. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I'm gonna remove all of this and then just get to work. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start off with removing this out of the way. This is the coolant reservoir because we're gonna go ahead and change that mount first. All right, this is a locking. I don't know how, no, I do know. I'm just gonna wiggle with it later. Mmm, look at that. It's kind of starting to break off from here. So what I need to do is just try to pull this thing. There we go. Just don't like the fact that they're so pressurized. kind of funny how it's starting to look like it's about a break from here just see that i don't like that all right so this i don't think this is a bolt-on from what i can see looks like just something that you should slide right off like over here it's gonna be a bit hard because jesus christ get out of the way man cool all right same thing over here and there's our main line right there. Hmm, I need my pistol grip. For the people that are going to be worried about the environment, it's just cool, it man. minimum leakage cool all right we have everything over here off and i went ahead and i supported the motor from the bottom put a jack and a little bit of a grommet on the engine mount so this is this engine mount looks like it operates on vacuum so i'm gonna go ahead and get the sockets let's get it started and those are gonna be 17 millimeter all right here i'm go ahead and remove this one first this one engine should not move because it's supported on the bottom if it does just go ahead and lift it up more i'm gonna put those right here okay this is 17 as well all right that 
was a little bit of tension on there. Uh huh. Moved a little bit, so go ahead and lift it. See that? Cool. All right, move this nut. Great. All right, I guess there's no vacuum here. <laughs> I thought it was a thought it was a vacuum operated um, engine mount, but uh huh. No wonder why we're getting vibration. <laughs> That's funny. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get the new one and put it back on. I think the new one just bolts on here. I don't know. Hmm. Probably gonna have to get it stuck back to this, but let's see. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this hmm. right here. I don't know why it looks like that. Like, look at the new one. Just bolts on, just only has one lip. Um, I don't get it. I think I need to break this to take it off. But oh well, regardless, I'm replacing it, so. Mm -hmm. There you go, start to retract. Same thing. Here we go. I need to do the same thing over here. I don't know if I'm supposed to do the same thing to the other one. Maybe, maybe not. go cool all right came out wonderful so let's not forget the orientation this goes in like this cool so that means this will go in like that okay so I go ahead, went ahead and I put this one and I had to hammer this to bend it back in so it latches. And I'm using the old mount as a base so the frame doesn't fall and I have to bend this thing back in to latch because I tried putting it back into the car and it was loose, but. Okay. Here we go. All right, here we go. Solid enough, so Gonna go ahead and put it back. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and put these bolts back on. Cool. Make sure you always thread these with your hand first and then send it with the impact. I think this is a 70 to foot pound to 80 foot pound type of torque spec because they're 17. But I'm still unsure because I gotta do my research or check the manual. So I'm gonna try to match the bolt the bolt holes with the washer, the imprint. That way it goes back exactly where it was. There you go, backwards what it was. This one back. Motor is back in place, sir. Solid. Gonna go ahead and start the car, test it out, see if the vibration went away. Uh, I'm gonna replace the lower torque mount either way, but for the people who only want to replace this one, I'll show you the result. So, go ahead and put this one back on. Oops. Connect this. That's gonna leak, but it's okay. Uh, use my pliers.
right, align it here, align it there. Cool. Now put those. This went here. And this goes here. Looks like, looks like it. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, that's correct because the loose one was on the left. All right, go ahead and put this one. Come on. Great. Oh my God, come on. I'll just get the, oh, here we go. All right, cool. It locked. All right, this is good. That's on there, pretty good as well. On the bottom. Yeah, but sadly, it is contacting that, so I'm gonna go ahead and flip it. That, that ring is not supposed to contact anything. Here we go. Now it's not contacting anything. All right, cool. So what I'm gonna do, get it started, and see if it's still making the same vibration. Oh wait, I gotta, I gotta put it off the jack. All right, cool. Right? Go ahead and see. Oh my god. Day and freaking night difference. Look. Nothing. Wow. Big difference. It's like it's gone. I'm gonna go ahead and replace the torque mount either way because it's gonna it's it's probably bad either way, so I'm gonna replace it and then I'll be right back to see if well, I mean the vibration just went away. Wow, this is this is really good. All right, now that we're under the car, there are two mounts over here. It's this mount and this mount right here. So those are 14 millimeter bolts and this is a 17 millimeter bolt. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my ratchet and then get this removed. Cool, well, that came out fairly easy. Cool. You don't need to support the motor because you can just rock it back. Um, go ahead and get my ratchet my electrical one to remove those just barely take this out take this out I take this out now just leave them in there I'm gonna get my 17 millimeter come on oops put it right here here we go Y'all saw how it flexed? I don't like that flex. I mean, it's normal flex, but putting a new one doesn't really hurt, especially that I'm chain that I'm not really charging the customer all of that just to get it done. So go ahead and take this out. All right, looks like this. Put it down. And go ahead and take those out. See how it flex? You can flex it back without an issue. Just don't lose the 14 millimeter bolts that fell while I'm taking it off. I have all three right here. Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and remove this one right now. So my ratchet already has 17 millimeter. Just memorize the orientation of how the mount looks like. Like the, op the open side is toward the top and the close side is toward the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my ratchet. Cool. All right, so they are different bolts. The right one is for this mount and the left one is for the mount that goes on here. So don't mess them up. Nope, they look just like this. Put this one in here, put the other one right there. So I don't mess up, and I'm gonna go ahead and remove this one. Doesn't look too, I mean, it does have stretches, so go ahead and change it either way. And I went ahead and got the new one. I'm gonna go ahead and place it exactly where it was at, right here. Get this bolt in there. Come on. Where's it? There we go put it back in 
I'm not gonna tighten it yet. Just, okay, just hand tighten or barely just leave it loose a little bit. Cool. And I'm gonna get this one brand new. And it goes in like this. Put the big bolt right here. Should have a thread on the other side, and it does. Hmm. Feels like the threads are a little bit tough. I don't know if they're dirty or something. Let me see if I put it in without. Yeah, feels like the threads are a little bit. I don't think they're off the angle, but I think they put paint, so just makes it a little bit harder to tighten them. And this one goes in like this, as I said. I'm just gonna put it in, just barely hand tighten it. And I'm gonna put the bolts back on here. I'm gonna move it with my hand. And yes, you can move it with your hand because there's no mounts to hold it uh, right here, so. can hold it from here and move it like this see that makes your life way easier so once you put two i think putting the third one won't require any movement let's see if that's true no, i don't think so i still need to move it there we go okay regardless it's really easy so go ahead and get my 17 flip it just hand tighten those well not hand tighten just barely tighten them Okay, so um, the ones that go into the transmission get bolted on and tightened first. All right here. See how it still move? gonna tighten this one with our hand them up let's see cool cool don't torque too much they they go into aluminum okay and that is it guys that's how I replace this mount this mount and the front right mount so we're gonna go ahead and see if more vibration has went away Okay, we're gonna go ahead and start the car right here. Oh my God, nine day difference, man. I'm so glad because I was doubting other stuff. I was just expecting a uh, bad motor, but I don't think so. I mean, I knew that right away. Yeah, oh my God, that, that engine mount. Okay, I'm gonna do the little engine mount test and go ahead and put it in drive, foot on the brake. Well, actually, I'll just keep the e-brake. Oh uh, yeah motor is not moving it's like you can't can't even feel it i'm just i have my foot on the brake and um i'm revving it just to see if the engine mounts are good and they are solid man so that is it guys um it's actually it was actually a simple repair except for the part where i had to hammer that thing to latch on the mount bracket over here so i'm gonna go ahead and clean up the um 
engine beauty cover and then that'll be it thank you guys so much for watching please like comment subscribe share send this video to the people that have a problem like this i hope i helped you guys please give me a subscribe and a like that'll help me out a lot in the channel so i can make more content and help you guys a lot more thank you and peace